Welcome to our in-depth study of Romans 6 verse 23, a powerful verse from the Bible that speaks to the consequences of sin and the transformative power of God's grace. In this video, we will unpack the meaning of this verse, explore its context within the book of Romans, and discuss how it applies to our lives. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Let's break down the verse and dive into the riches of God's word. The wages of sin. The first half of the verse, for the wages of sin is death, is a sobering reminder of the reality of sin and its consequences. The word wages refers to the payment or reward for work. In this case, sin is the work and death is the payment. This death is not merely physical death but also spiritual death, which is separation from God. The Bible teaches that sin entered the world through Adam and Eve's disobedience in the Garden of Eden, Genesis 3. Since then, every human being has been born with a sinful nature, and we all fall short of God's perfect standard, Romans 3 verse 23. Our sin separates us from God, and the payment for sin is death. The consequences of sin are evident in our world today. Sin leads to broken relationships, pain, suffering, and ultimately, eternal separation from God. The wages of sin truly is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. The second half of the verse offers hope and salvation to those who believe. The word gift implies that eternal life is not something we can earn or work for, it is a free gift from God. This gift is available only through Jesus Christ, who died on the cross to pay the penalty for our sins, Romans 5 verse 8. By believing in Jesus and accepting his sacrifice, we can receive forgiveness and eternal life. Eternal life is not merely an extension of our earthly existence, it is a new abundant life that begins now and continues forever with God. In Jesus, we are made alive spiritually and given the hope of eternal fellowship with our Creator. The Choice Romans 6 verse 23 presents us with a choice, continue in sin and receive the wages of death, or accept God's gift of eternal life through faith in Jesus Christ. This choice is the most important decision we will ever make. The Apostle Paul urges us to choose life, to choose Jesus, and to live according to the Spirit rather than the flesh, Romans 8 verses 1 to 14. When we choose Jesus, we are set free from the power of sin and death, and we begin a new life in Him. Choosing Jesus is not a one-time decision, it is a daily commitment to follow Him and live according to His teachings. It requires us to surrender our lives to Him and to allow the Holy Spirit to transform us from the inside out. Living in the Power of the Holy Spirit Once we have accepted Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we are filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit empowers us to live a new life in Christ and to grow in our relationship with God. The Holy Spirit helps us to overcome sin, to live according to God's will, and to bear the fruit of the Spirit, Galatians 5 verses 22 to 23. Living in the power of the Holy Spirit is not about our own strength or effort, it is about yielding to the Spirit and allowing Him to work in and through us. It is about being transformed into the image of Christ and becoming more like Him every day. Romans 6 verse 23 is a powerful verse that reminds us of the consequences of sin and the hope we have in Jesus Christ. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. As we study this verse, let us be encouraged to turn from sin, to accept God's gift of salvation, and to live in the power of the Holy Spirit. May Romans 6 verse 23 inspire us to share the good news of Jesus Christ with others, so that they too may receive the gift of eternal life. Amen.